Have you ever lost a loved one due to a terminal illness? A grandparent, a friend? If you have, it must have been very difficult and very painful. They're gone and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And it makes you wonder, is this it? Where do their souls go? Will you ever see them again in the afterlife? Seeing a glimmer of hope would be worth it, wouldn't it? Is there a glimmer of hope that maybe this isn't the end of the story? That there is something out there that science has not been able to detect? Matter of fact, there have been various reports and testimonials throughout medical history that this has happened before. The phenomenon has even been given a name, terminal lucidity. Many people see it as an event of peace, transition, and even comfort. Despite the fact that the official title sounds like it describes a final destination like nightmare. To simply describe, it's that short amount of time a terminally ill, previously suffering individual is suddenly lively and healthy, as if they're cured, only for them to pass on shortly thereafter, with shortly meaning minutes to hours. It's as if the person found a time machine to go back well before their illness and reloaded from a save point like a video game character. The patient's reactions in the reported cases were not recognized by fear, but rather by acceptance and warmth. It has also been noted by surviving family members that this period of normality has helped them deal with the inevitable loss. But before we take this final bonus for granted, let us ask ourselves, why is it that this takes place? There have been too many documented and objectively reported cases of terminal lucidity to ignore as a one-off or momentary delusion. Given that it appears in entries even as far back as the 1400s, it's clear that this wasn't just a passing craze or a short-lived epidemic. The answer for now is, we don't know. One thing we do know about this phenomenon is that it most commonly occurs in people with neurological or psychiatric disorders, like schizophrenia or Alzheimer's disease. And the period of sudden health can appear to be a miracle. This has manifested itself in a variety of ways, from a previously unresponsive memory blank mother suddenly having cognizant, coherent conversations with her daughter, to a nearly non-verbal, non-self-sufficient, mentally disabled boy singing and reciting scripture one day. In both cases, the patient died after a few minutes, regardless of their level of lucidity. The physician Hippocrates, yes, the one who coined the Hippocratic Oath, wrote about this phenomenon of mental illness symptoms waning as death approached in ancient Greece. In the past, it was thought that the human soul was able to break free of the body's illnesses, resulting in a sudden resurgence of health some scientific theories such as that the nervous system is stimulated by pain or that a massive amount of neurotransmitters are released as a last ditch effort before death have been suggested to explain this phenomenon. In the absence of concrete evidence, these are merely educated guesses. The mystery surrounding the cause of this last gasp of life continues to fascinate, fueled by the fact that there is currently no concrete answer. Some interpret it as a final attempt by the ill person's soul to communicate with loved ones and bid them farewell, which assumes the existence of a real and definite human soul. One could argue that this serves as irrefutable evidence that we are loved and that the end isn't really the end. What are your thoughts about terminal lucidity and does life really exist after death? Comment below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to watch more videos like this. Take care and see you soon.